forgot these trashers parked in this shed so tight right now. <laughs> like, it may not be a good idea. Uh, here's an idea. <clears throat> Since you're there. Yeah. Get, get rid of the two internationals in the... <gasps> in the, uh... The other guy over there. The little John Deere right there. A couple of... The ones that we never use. Uh... Yeah, well, I, okay, I said I was going to keep them for cows, but I guess we don't need them for anything with cows, do we? Because mm -mm, we have self-propelled. Well. Yeah. Okay. Um. Jeff, it's a different roll, though. It That's grassland care roll that you're talking about. This is, um, like, dirt rolling. Feed bed. Yeah, it's a different roll is the problem. And I don't think it'll do it. Get rid of all JD. Wait a minute. <clears throat> Before I come on the front lawn for decoration. <laughs> uh, that's funny. That cedar is pretty baller. Yeah, the cedar is pretty awesome. I like it. The only thing is it's it doesn't hold a ton of seed, I guess, but it's not... It's not bad, I guess. And that'll so. cultivate as well? Oh, yeah. He'll take care of it. Good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is how I planted. Uh, well, actually, I got smart Sunday night. Or, you know, it was yesterday. And, you know, we're planting all these beans, right? Mm hmm Well, last time I used this, and then I used the triple seeder, and it took for absolutely ever to get everything done, right? So, I'm like... But we have all those corn planters. Corn planters also plant beans. Now, I did have to upgrade those, and uh, I had to put uh, fertilizer tanks on because Horseplay was just not happy with them because they it's a whole thing. Okay. But so I had this plus three of those planters going. Man, I got planting done in no time. Just saying. Old farm homes, old tractors in the front yard for decoration. Oh, yeah, no, that's a huge thing. That is a massive, massive thing, yes. You betcha. I've actually, last year when we went on our little road trip down south, we saw two of these planters. One was, <laughs> or they were both hooked up to, like, uh, quad tracks, actually. Like, heck, yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Get the park vehicle mod. Yeah. Old plows, yeah. Oh, yeah. People love putting old plows outside their house, yeah. You betcha. That's what I should do next year for Christmas. I got an old rusty plow to farm. We should bring it home, park it in the front yard. What's oh, I'm sure your neighborhood would love that. My neighbor would love that, yeah. The one neighbor would care. The rest of them wouldn't care at all. Uh, it does all crops. Gotcha. I like having different, like, planters for the for different crops, you know? Actually, the plow that we have at the farm is kind of, I don't want to say rare, but, like, it, I need to do some research on it. Because it's, it's kind of a, a weird one, to be honest. Because you had the Massey Company, you had the Harris Company, and you had the Ferguson Company, right? Back in the day. And at one point in time, they all ended up, I don't know who bought who, but they ended up having one company called Massey Harris Ferguson. But they only put all three names on equipment for like a couple years. Well, our plow is a Massey Harris Ferguson. So, kind of interesting. Kind of Kind of interesting, you know? So it's it's sitting in the shed. But yeah. Oh, the fields are not big enough. Well, you know, they they say that overkill's underrated, right? So might as well. Oh yeah. So uh plant, alright? 
Uh, in Dig fairness, dirt. <laughs> I've been wanting to replant this grass field since like we decided we were going to start rolling everything. So it's been a while. <clears throat> Plus, this way, all of our grass will be synced up too. Yeah. So we'll be all synced up and ready to ready to go. And we'll finally get rid of the skipper out here. <laughs> Maybe. Still waiting to see an X9. I'll get to see one this summer. Be the first one that I'll uh, I'll actually see with my own eyes. At that uh, farm show over in uh, 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 Jersey. Now, where's it at? Jer no. Not Jerseyville. Pickneyville. No, not that one. Johnsonville. Uh. Where you get the broads. <laughs> Johnson. <laughs> Belleville. One of them Vills, you know? Yeah. yeah. Belleville. Over at the, the Renner show, the 100 Years of Horsepower. They're going to have the oldest John Deere combine known in, in existence, allegedly, according to them. Which they just happen to own. Convenient, you know? Mm -hmm. And they're going to have a uh, X9-1100. In the field, working side by side. <laughs> So that's going to be insane to see that. So, you know, should be pretty cool. Maybe I'll go live over there for a little bit. That'd be fun, right? Just really loud, lots of dust. Really loud. Everything is so loud. Yeah. Two weeks. Oh, they had one two weeks before the fair a while. Wow. And while bears just swathing. Swathing away. Getting it done. Actually, well, uh, uh, left, left and talking about getting rid of the, uh, the John Deere awkward two tracks, too. Yeah, I'm not a big of the two, big fan of the two tracks. They're great on, like, uh, uh, wagons, though. <clears throat> they are uh, awesome. On on auto drive. Yes, on auto drive wagons. They are awesome. Yes. Yes, I agree. But we don't have wagons I mean, anymore. Maybe so. maybe we oh, we don't have any wagons anymore. No, we sold. We sold. <clears throat> yeah, we yeah, need, need I to, I just can't get I can't get with the how quick the turning radius is. Yeah, it's fast. It is really Well, a lot of this old stuff we've had, it's been real fast. Which is interesting, like the narrow front ends and stuff. I, I like the way they drive, but you got to get used to it. it. Takes a minute. Mm-hmm. But we're at. We have a uh, a rake. Yes, we do. We have that merger. Yeah, uh, we got the that Rhino, that big red. Yep. It's not parked where it's supposed to be, but it's it's over by the grade bin. It's supposed to be in the heck in the cow barn, or not cow barn. I sat here and racked my brain about whether we had a. A yeah. wind row or, or whatever. As soon as I asked you, I remembered it. <laughs> well, you know, the, the, the tiny man in your brain had to go back and find that file, you know? Yeah, there's a lot of files back there. There's a lot. They got to dust them off, you know? Yeah. Dre, what's going on, man? How you doing today? I'll never forget, Bear. We, were, we took a laptop one time to Grandma's house, right? Mm. And Grandma was like 80 years old at the time. 75, 80, whatever. She was getting up there. Actually, I guess 80 is not that old, right? Dad's turned 75. Anyway, she was like 80 at the time. Mm -hmm. Or 80 plus. And we were showing her a bunch of pictures that, like, first time had scanned. And after showing her a bunch of pictures, she goes, how do all these fit inside this thing? And my mom hmm. goes, well, there's a bunch of little men and, and there's a bunch of file oh. cabinets. And she she's like, oh, okay. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, a lot of grass dryer so you don't have to ted. All right. You know, I know there's all those mods out there. There's a TMR maker. There's, you know, the, the grass dryers, the silage fermenters. Like, I, there's all that stuff. I just, I, I don't know. On some maps, I use it. This map, I don't think so. The problem with this map is there's not a lot of flat space to place that stuff. That is true. You end up having to do a bunch of awkward landscaping, so. Yeah. That was the first time I'm using the 8410. Nice. Nice. 
Uh, there is a more conditioner for the wind drawer, but it's tiny. Oh, yeah. Holy cow. Joe, you're here, like, at an interesting time. What's going on, man? How are you? Welcome in. What's poppin'? All right. Yeah, I know. There's, I know, but it's a tiny little more head is the problem. It's too, it's too small. It's too small. I'm out there for six months with using that thing. It doesn't take that long to run a swather with the tractor. Or, uh, what's it called? Not a swather, but a uh, tether. Finished work. Wind it down. Let's go. All right, Joe. So what do you think of that uh, 80, 84? I like it so far. Left is like in love with that thing. <laughs> he's all about it. The only reason we're able to use it today is because he's not here. <laughs> Alright, I'll put some hours on it. Yep. Yep. Holy cow, Joe. Wow. That's crazy, man. Crazy. That's insane. Which GPS mod? Uh, the best one. It's called Guidance Steering, also known as GPS. Yeah, I don't. I don't use that. Uh, what is it? VCA. Not about it. Good old GPS, Guidance Steering, whatever you want to call it. I'm here for it. Ninety percent driving. Gotcha, Joe. Gotcha. This would be good though to get all these grass fields synced up, and uh, this way I can get rid of the needs rolled because that's bothered me for I can't even tell y'all how long <laughs> it's been bothering me. But that's all right. It's all good. We got to make sure we do that better. If we course play, we got to make sure we clean up. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That's why I'm seating myself as well to make sure I get it all. This seater doesn't flex a lot. And that kind of has some issues maybe a little bit. I was doing, of course, I know that field 10 is bad up north, but. I was doing some seeding up in field 10. And God, I kept having to turn circles and hit it this way and that way and. I need to spend some money landscaping up there, but, uh, you know, I can't save money on farm sim to save my life, so <laughs> it's all right. Hit a buff. But the cows will make his money back. So. I think the, the actual purchase of the cows was like 577,000 ish. So it'd be interesting the first time we sell milk, like how much, yeah. How much money? Hmm. After her. <laughs> wow, dude, Liz, wow. So, you know, in, in that situation, uh, too, Liz, it's not a bad idea just to run like a grass strip. You know, go in your painting and, and like paint a small line. Set your camera, say, like, perfect north, south, or east, west, and, and paint you a little bit of a line just to divide the field up, but you're not losing a ton of, uh, of, of land to grass, you know, or make it gravel, whatever you want, you know. Call right. it a road. And then you can still harvest through it if you want to, but... Yeah. But he's if he's going to use course play, then... Right. It would uh, give you smaller fields. <clears throat> but we've had to do that before. Is Papa Smurf still around? Uh, I haven't heard anything, Joe. Why? As far as I, I think know, there's a, I think there's a, think there's an issue with the website. I did hear Sean. Or I saw that Sean said something about that the other day, but I, I don't know. I don't know anything. If there is something going on there, I don't. Uh, I don't know about it. Oh yeah. I don't know. I did hear, yeah, there was something going on with the website. I don't know what it is. Like, it just ain't working or something. I don't know. 
All right, to field seven. Did you buy the data for seven? She, yeah. Sure did. <laughs> what? Hey, why does it say soil analysis? Sa soil samples analyzed. On uh, the, the lady at the office. Like a Fifteen uh, minute delay. Yeah, she she was on she was on break. Lady at the office, and uh, so the the bill was late getting to us. You know. I uh, see. Out for lunch. Yeah, it's eight a.m. Out for breakfast. I hadn't got in yet for the day. Uh, hit a puddle on the way in, and you know, later, uh, you know, yeah. There's an update. A prophesy. Okay. Gotcha, plugger. And hello, welcome in. It was. Stevie's Elm Creek uh, Florax. We had to. We took that north giant chunk of land, made it into a field, and then went. Yeah, that's way too big for course play. And then we divided it up into four. Well, I think the way it went was. <clears throat> All right, let's course play this. Yeah, that server blew up. Yep. Yeah, and then, and then we're like, yeah, that might be too big for course. That <laughs> might be too big for a computer. Just a little bit. All right, so there's the new uh, Pop Smurf site, I guess, huh? Is that what the update your alert now? I guess we need to get uh, the command, yeah. Tony. Sean. Put on the list. Sean. Sean. Uh, lime it first so you can yell at the skippers. There's no skippers. What are you talking about? Oh, man. Hey, see, we're doing well. How are you? Popping. I don't leave skippers, Obelks. I'm perfect. That was a joke, by the way. That was a joke. All right. <laughs> oh, man. Eating some late lunch. The farm is great. We uh, we sold uh, soybeans earlier and dry corn, and then I mean, uh, and then Bear came in and I spent all the money. It's all Bear's fault. Mm -hmm. Hashtag, yep. hashtag, yep. hashtag Bear's fault. We should take that little little wood uh, woods out over there, shouldn't we? Hmm. Uh, there's also well, uh, yeah, we could probably do that. Probably we don't have to landscape it. We're gonna have to landscape. It. Never mind. Dryer is fixed. Let's go, Sean. John, you wanna you wanna can you update a command for us? Are you able to do that? This field is such it's so awkward. It's crooked on all like all well three yes. out of four sides, it's crooked. Yes. That's why it's perfect for a grass field, right? Or something. Something like that. Uh, it's the Pop Smurf one, Sean. Uh, there's a there's a different link for uh, Pop Smurf website. It's the one that Plugger posted just up in chat a second ago. Happy Tuesday. Welcome in. Uh, yeah. Can you check the top left, the <clears throat> top left uh, corner when you get up there? I think you may have missed the corner. Top? Nope. Uh my field? Oh, you're good. Did I? No, it looks like you got it. There was a skipper and I got it. I went back for Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> and then I know I'm leaving a skipper to my right right now, but I'll I'll take care of it. I'll hit the Gwitty, don't worry. Widow we? Widow we. So Bear, where's where's Kate, huh? Uh she's alive and well. Didn't she <laughs> didn't they do like a press conference? No, not that I'm aware of, did they? Oh. So, video came out yesterday of her and, and Will William walking around a farmer's market in Windsor. Okay, which is where they've been hanging out for a while. 
Mm -hmm. But I saw some things where it's like, um, why is that? Why is that farmer's market decorated for Christmas? You can see like what looks to be like some Christmas lights and stuff in the background. And people are thinking maybe this video is from like December. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, exclamation point smurf. Uh, Sean, just smurf. I don't know. It's, you know, the rumor mill is, is just fired up on this whole thing. Oh, it's, it's rumoring. Which is great. I'm, I think it's funny. I am amused. And then apparently the Russians came out yesterday and said, we've gotten word. The king is dead. What? And then the, the castle's like, um, the king is not dead. The king is fine. But yeah, Russia's like, yep, King's dead. <laughs> it's like, that's funny right there. I don't care who you are. I'm just saying. All right, so let's see here. So apparently, Jeff, like, um, it's, it is a thing for the royals, like in Windsor and some of those, like, places where they hang out all the time that people kind of just ignore them apparently and they don't like react to them kind of how like how like apparently and I don't, I don't know this for a fact but i've heard this but like taylor swift can go to nashville and just kind of blend in and disappear and people don't really make a big deal that taylor swift's there is what i've heard right that's why she spends a lot of time there and uh it's kind of interesting so like People are just used to seeing the Royals in Windsor, so they just kind of like, yeah, whatever. It's just, you know, another sighting of the Royals. And apparently, it's like a big thing to not film them and to not take pictures of them when they're just out living their life and not like, you know, doing official Royal things out of like respect for the for the, for the crown or whatever you want to say, you know? I kind of dig that policy. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Like, let them, let them be humans at times, you know? Right. So, kind of interesting, but they're saying, like, even that video that came out yesterday, it's like, ooh, man, who filmed that? They shouldn't have done that, you know? Like, ooh, they might, I'm not saying they're going to get in trouble, but, you know. It might end up. No, it's insane. not Russia. It's not Russia. Oh. oh. They're not going to fall out of a third-story window, you know? <laughs> they, the won't, they, they won't commit suicide by shooting themselves in the head three times? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a good turn. <laughs> well, yeah. That's how things are done around here some places. Yeah, you know, it happens. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, which I think is kind of cool, but, like, at a certain point, with all the stuff that's going on, which I get the Royals, like, they're not going to respond to rumors. I get, I understand that. But, like, at a certain point, you got to just, like, put a camera and then just have her talk, right? I mean, come on. Make a, make a TikTok or something of her hitting the gwitty, you know? Do something. Come on, do something. <laughs> Seriously. Anyway, so that's been your royal update for today. You're welcome, chat. I know you all were, were dying and waiting for it. That was the longest there is no update update in the world. <laughs> <laughs> what, are you, what are you, network news? Uh, all right, well, I don't know. I'll tell you again in about 20 minutes the same update, okay? Oh, breaking news breaking news we are now hearing that there are no updates with the disappearance of <laughs> let's go live we're going live for the same report that we've already heard a hundred times today <laughs> thank you sean appreciate you there it is chat there's the new update thank you blogger for sending that over uh, as well thanks sean Oh, man. Like, you know, I, I used to be a big, like, Weather Channel watcher, right? Huh? I can't. I cannot watch it now. Unless there's, like, a hurricane coming in, and, you know, you want to see, like, live coverage of that. A little Jim Cantori action? <laughs> Otherwise, it's just the same. Well, it's, it's sunny out there. <laughs> Which I get, but, like, golly, it's horrible. And then, you know, the local on the eights, every 10 minutes, they're telling you, you know, your same forecast for your hometown. You know, it's like, oh, my God, y'all. Well. 
Only watch the Weather Channel for Highway Through Hell. All right. Good show. It is a good show. Uh, I guess you need me on a bailer, huh? Bailer. All right. I'll go find a uh, tractor for that. Oh, I did fill that up and earlier. We're, and, we're, and we're doing the little bales, right? Uh, somewhere along that lines, yeah. What tractor do I use? There's so many to choose from. Say so many or too many? There's never too many tractors. 4755, I choose you. Oh, no, there's never enough tractors. There. Never enough tractors. I mean, yeah. <laughs> If you ever find your way to St. Louis, Bear, I'll give you a shed tour, okay? All right. Down at the farm. You can get the, the penny tour. And you'll be like, God, you guys have too many tractors. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my sister was ragging on us the other day at the cousin's house, and I was like, what's it matter? I got a little defensive. I'm not going to lie. Because uh, she's like, well, how many little John Deere tractors do you have? And I was like, three, and one of them's your son's. And she's like, oh. Because <laughs> that was the joke when, when Dad picked up the third one. It was like, well, it's for, it's for you know, the grandkid, right? It's fine. Right. Yeah. And, yeah, that kid is not interested at all in driving tractors, so. Yeah. I mean, he's Nerd. like, he's like seven and, like, is scared by... Tractors Loud noises. And stuff. Yeah, he doesn't oh, like noises. Okay. Yeah. Prefer square over round bales? A hundred thousand percent, yes. Uh, 180? That's what this is set to. Yes, 180s. Crap. Yeah, I definitely prefer square. They don't roll away. They're, they back, you can haul more on a trailer. And in fact, I'm going to be bailing with 180s, which are tiny bales. But. Hey. Hey, hey, we use square bills because we never cut corners. I thought our what was our slogan about? Uh, no said? bushels, but no bushels left behind. Yeah, no bushels left behind. We got two slogans <laughs> today. Uh, but uh, yeah, if we haul tiny bales, you actually haul more liters or more tons per mm -hmm. trailer load. Uh, and it's really crucial on uh, straw. When we're when we're bailing fields to bale fields to sell for money, but you can haul more tonnage per per load with the smaller bales. Now, yes, there is a straw bale that's coming out first, but it's field buff now, which means in the instance of um, cows, yeah, that every trailer stack we we put next to the next to the cow barn, there's more more material. tonnage, yeah, more tonnage. True. Very true. And that's not uh, necessarily a bad thing, right? Not a bad thing at all. Right. But yeah, definitely square bills. I. Plus, but I I know somebody's gonna say this. I know there's continuous, for like round bailers where you don't have to stop. But majority of round bailers, you got to stop. And. That just gets annoying to me. And I know there's a mod to help with that, the round bale, uh, whatever mod, I understand. But square balers, you just drive. It's, it's, yeah. It's just better, in my opinion. They're just better. Yes, definitely prefer. The baler I really prefer is that one that, that Plugger edited for us that has, uh, is that still on sale? Uh, it is. We don't have enough tractor to really, but we do. It's a little new for us still. But uh, it has a wider pickup head. Now, these John Deere's aren't bad. Now, when we get into the bigger combines, though, that's when we need a, a larger pickup head. So, Because when you're you know, harvesting 50, 60 feet of wheat, uh, or soybeans or whatever, it makes quite a pile. So... But yeah, these John Deers are pretty good. I have uh, I have been liking these deers. Yeah, I didn't think I was going to, but I, I have been. 
And we do suddenly have a lot of John Deere stuff on this map. Yeah, that piled up quick, didn't it? Yeah, we're gonna have to buy some red red tractors here soon. Maybe that like uh, Massey articulated the bigger one. Mm -hmm. Old couple, maybe an old uh, old uh, quad. And then we got that. Uh, what's it called? To the big Alice articulated tractor we can buy at some point. And we got the Steiger. Uh, that versatile too, though. That versatile is beautiful. I do like I do like that case. Yeah. Especially yeah. in black. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Pretty in black. But yeah, we got the forty-seven fifty-five, and then we got uh, the big one back there, the eighty, whatever it is, eighty-nine something or other. I don't know what it is. The giant one, and then we got the eight thousand series. Wait a minute. Plus, we already had some Pierce, although I think we're probably about to sell five tractors. Which is crazy to say, but I think we're about to sell five tractors. Five? Yeah. Oof. I know. I don't know if I want to get rid of all of them, actually. But, like, we don't use three of them at all. Mm -hmm. And the other two... The tractor urine's kind of replaced one of them. But yeah, we might be making five tractors disappear today. We should put them on trailers and haul, haul them to the shop. Yeah, sure. There's just, there's there's bad ideas. Just because we can. Hey, strap them down. It'll be fine. Hey, there's a tree there, uh, by see. the way. Hold on. We got a little stuck in the tree over there. <laughs> oh, you're like... Oh, it's, what tree? It's that bad. <laughs> you had to get the uh, cattle prod out. <clears throat> Make the tree disappear. Yeah, I don't know what tree you're talking about. I, I don't know. Gone, but not forgot. There's something. All right. Oh, so remember yesterday I said something about like the cousins want to watch the old family like uh, movies. Mm -hmm. And Dad's idea was, well, y'all can come to the farm sometime. We can play them down there. Oh, jeez. And I said, Dad, air conditioning, like, you know. <laughs> Comfort. He's like, oh, Something. that's a good idea. <laughs> uh, I was like, somebody's house would be a lot more comfortable, you know. The farm would work. Don't get me wrong. Maybe but. a circuit that could take a microwave so you can make some popcorn. Oh, we, we got a microwave at the farm. We got a microwave, a fridge, an electric hot plate. You guys got heat guns? We, we do? Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 uh -huh, I, bought, I bought one last year. We have a corded and a cordless one. Which, by the way, cordless heat gun absolutely murders batteries. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. The amount of energy that takes. Uh-huh. Judge, what's going on? Welcome back. Happen. Yeah, but it was so handy working on the tractor to not have to like mess with the cord all the time. Like it's kind of a bougie tool, but like man, it was really nice to have. Plus, with this heat gun, you know, since the battery's the bottom, right? If mm -hmm. I'm if I'm doing like some wiring, I can just set it down, it. hit the trigger yep. lock, and just leave it on. And then when I need to like do my shrink wrap, I can just you know move the wire in front of it. Really nice. That's it. Yep, it's great. I liked it. That's one of those tools where I was like, Dad, I'm going to buy this. And he's like, Absolutely don't do that. We'll never use it. And I bought it. We use it all the time. So, yeah. Although, fun fact if you use it for a couple of minutes and then you turn it off and then immediately put your hand on top and accidentally rest your like palm on the, on the, the, the tip. Whew. Let, me, let, let me guess. Not recommended? No. No. It lets you know you're alive. Oh, yeah. Oh. Kind of like our mini bike we have at the farm. We got like a little little old school mini bike with like a four four horsepower engine, you know? Mm hmm And uh, yeah, when you're, when you're full throttle on that thing on our gravel road, you're going about 30 miles an hour 
on like an eight inch, two little eight inch wheels, you know, you're alive. <laughs> it's a lot of me. Yeah. <laughs> it's the heart pumping though, you know. You really feel it. I'm I'm alive. Uh, my brother-in-law was ripping that thing up and down the highway one time at the farm. <laughs> like, on the main, like, pavement. And he's like, you know, a big guy like me <laughs> on a little tiny bike. <laughs> In fairness, I was next to him on the little four-wheeler that we used to have. We might have went, played on the highway a little bit. But don't tell anybody. Fine. Put a buff. It was also like, I don't know, seven years ago. Statue of Limitations run out, right? Or something. We had a 90cc four-wheeler at the farm for a while. Okay, not a big four-wheeler, right? It was for my nephews. But us adults, we rode that thing all over the place. It was tidy, but man, it would get after it. The thing was awesome. Unfortunately, it had carburetor issues, and we, yeah, mm. nobody wanted to spend money on it, and like couldn't find it. All this stuff, it ended up getting getting junked. But it was super fun while we had it there. Saying, like, you wouldn't think a ninety would be fun, man. It was great. Especially in the snow. I think it was fun in the snow. Two-wheel drive. Just let it eat. It was a good time. I don't think we're getting that much uh, tonnage off of this field today. That's okay. Trent, what's up? How's, uh, how's trucking, Trent? I think Trent's done hauling today. For the year, finally. That's good. For the for last year's crop, I should say. So that's good. Don't hit the yep. I knew I was gonna hit the wall. Need to turn around here. We got crop behind me here. There we go. A little, little skipper right there and gotta clean it up. There we go. Go bail this uh, edge over here, and then I'm done. Awesome. Go grab our lime wagon. Yeah. Tran, I uh, I bought a combine. It's on sale. I had to. There's something. The heck was that? You know, like your taskbar at the bottom of your screen, you know? Mm hmm And mine just reloaded. Like, it went blank, and then everything came back. Interesting. I have to put a new boot drive in that machine already? <laughs> Hope not. All right. We are done bailing. We're done enough bailing. Well, let's go. Yours does that every once in a while, Sean? Okay. I'm not glad I'm not alone. Though. Yeah, it, yeah, it could just be a Windows 11 thing, yeah. That, that is on the Windows 11 machine. I still have my gaming PC is still on 10. I, I don't really want to upgrade it. I mean, I can, but whatever. Some of the things about 11 are just weird. Just saying. Oh, that's fun, Trent. Trent's broke down right now. But what good things did you get from the truck stop today? He was telling me last night what his diet consisted of yesterday. <laughs> and it was like beef sticks from the from the truck stop and this from the truck stop that from the truck stop 
Trent was living his best life. One, like, truck stop hot dog at a time, you know? It was funny. Dang, this thing is getting bullied. I was just about to say, are you getting bullied right now? Like, big time. What the heck? Maybe, is that hitch, like, too, too low or something on that tractor? Maybe, yeah. Weird. Cause like I was like you're going sideways right now. <laughs> what the heck? Tokyo drift over here. Too much. I'm a little disappointed left in putting beacons on that tractor. I'm not gonna lie. There's actually like a really cool like big center beacon you can get on that tractor. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, he uh, didn't put that on there. This tractor. Why use the same tractor when I can switch track? I don't want to pick up bales of tools. That's why. Mountain Dew beef sticks and grandma's chocolate chip cookies. By the way, those grandma's cookies, dude. Those things are fire. Just throwing that out there. They're really good. They don't taste like the cookies my grandma used to make, but they're good nonetheless. They were very, very good. I didn't, anyway, I don't want to pick up bales of tools. That's why uh, the tractor swap record. Should have got it with the Alice. Whatever. It's all good. Peanut butter are really, they're really good, Jeff. Yeah. Yep, the peanut butter ones are, are fire. Yeah, every once in a blue moon, Dad and I will uh, stop at a gas station and buy them. Actually, for Pumpkin Day in the past, we've gone to Sam's Club and bought like the big variety pack that they have. Mm-hmm. Dude. You want diabetes. There you go. Oh, man. So good. Trent, you haven't tried if you Trent, do you like peanut butter? If so, go with back in that gas station right now and get you some peanut butter ones. <laughs> and then pro tip, if you're if your truck is facing the sun, throw them up on the dashboard for a few minutes, let them get in the sun. They'll kind of warm up a little bit. Oh. Even better. But oh, these are big bills. These are 220s, okay. Put these in the homestead too, why not? Pro tip, though. Let them things heat up in the sunshine just for a couple minutes. Oh, my goodness. Uh, grandma's cookies, Sean. Grandma's cookies. Trent's got an hour to kill. We'll go get you some cookies. Hell yeah. You deleted the cow bar and it left a big hole where the slurry bit. Yeah, I have seen that. It's a giant, yeah, crater. The two UJD tractors. Wow, okay. Uh, Farmer, are we not a fan of John Deere? Is that what I'm sensing? I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, peanut butter grandma's cookies. They are... Super, super, super good. Is there a pizza place? Well, never know. Wow, Trent. Case all the way. I don't have any. I was going to switch to a case tractor. I don't really have it. I have our malls, but they're slow. No have power. We're about to be a well green and orange tractor only farm here. If we sell off the tractors, then uh, yeah, we will not have. We'll have to buy a red tractor today just to have a red tractor. Just saying. We could take those. Trent and Zach cheered X100. There was a tree there. Thank you, Trent. Appreciate it. Appreciate the best. 
We could take the fireballs and crank them up to 300 horsepower. And then they become like the most useful tractors on the farm, right? Mm hmm. <laughs> This still bullied you now that you're in the field? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Okay. That's kind of weird. Too bad. Um. All right, we're going for air bales. Why do I have an overlap? Did you hit the auto with on your? I did. Huh. Then I don't know. Alright. Taking bales. Oh. 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 Uh, we might want to, <clears throat> just for bunsies, note how many bales we get off of this. The harvest on. yeah yeah the one you're on now oh just to see it. how yeah. yeah when it's done right push it up the speed that would be nice jeff yeah you'll have the old jds they are nice aren't they And now that Leonard uh, Leonard fixed this tractor for us, and it's uh, it's such a good tractor now. It's not oh, like fixed the shifting. Yeah. Oh. So it, it was on that. a or Saturday else, Saturday stream, right? He was in, and he's like, "Can I buy a tractor?" And I was like, "Yeah, whatever. You know, you're Leonard. You can do what you want. You know." Oh. Let's just be honest, you know. And uh, I was like, "Yeah, whatever." So he bought it, and then he's like, "Yeah, I got bad news for you, Chief." I was like, what? He goes, well, it says it goes 21, but it only goes like 11. I was like, well, hit your plus button on your keyboard. And that, you know, would shift it up, right? Mm -hmm. So he used it for a few minutes, and then he left the game, and he's like, I'll be back. <laughs> and he basically opened up a different mod, modded tractor, and took all the transmission information and copy pasted it to this one. And then just like, you know zipped it back up and sent it to me so it drives like a I forget which tractor he took it from but whatever it works great uh, oh. drives a lot better it actually shifts now yeah so it's it's a whole lot better are we going bail count or are we going tonnage uh, probably tonnage would be well, yeah. bell, case, bell, bell count's probably easier. Either way, you got to remember numbers, you know what I mean? Oh, and of course they stack awkward now. Awkward. Is this the 5020? This is the 5020 diesel, yeah. I mean, it is a mean looking tractor. I love the look of this tractor with the cab. Big old fat tires on the back. Yeah. I love it. I'm, I'm so here for this tractor. And the problem always has been that it doesn't shift. So. But now it shifts. It was a usable tractor before. You just had to uh, manually reach over and hit your plus button on your keyboard. So those of you that don't know, you can totally shift tractors by hitting plus and minus on your keyboard. Okay, so uh, one less than a trailer bear. How about that? All right. Also known as uh, three by five. That can't be accurate, right? Three high by five. No, across. no, 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 no. Okay. It only had one bale for the tonnage, and I was like, that can't be. It was like point of a ton, like point zero oh. or zero point. So 13, 13 ton. Oh, yeah, one shy. Not bad. We're going to go back to the straw bale and throw it on top of this one. All right. So 13 ton this time, we'll probably get like. 
yeah, I don't know, 25 ton next time? Probably, right, we'll probably double the trailers. Yeah. Most likely. Like that straw bale is uh, 0.46 of a ton. All right, bean straw bale. Interesting. But yeah, so apparently it's not that, I mean, it's it was super complicated because Leonard did it, but you know, it's possible to take transmission information from one tractor to another, you know, make a tractor that looks awesome, actually, you know, usable. Function, yeah. Yeah, so. Because I mean, come on, with the radio in the cab and, man, here for it. We used to have a radio on the 995, which made no sense at all on an open station tractor. You had to turn that thing. I, you know, dad would be out mowing the lane when I was a kid. And the, the radio was broken. Oh my goodness. Zach Candunk 24 just resubscribed for 75 months. Yo, and Zach coming in with a 75 month resub. Look at you, Zach. Hi, Zach. How's it going, bro? What's boy, Tony. Tony. Tony's probably eating lunch. Late lunch. Uh, but I can remember, like, Dad would mow the mow the lane when I was a kid, and I can remember hearing, like, a baseball game be broadcast from, like, half a mile away. You couldn't hardly hear the tractor, but you could hear the radio. <laughs> it was so funny. Yeah. All the speakers were blown because it was turned up so loud. Yep. Not much, Tony. Hey, Tony. Tony, I think Sunday we might be doing a bunch of plowing at the farm. We were going to do it this week, but it, like, you know, kind of rained. I'll have to look at the forecast, but I think we might be doing some plowing Sunday. The saying, Tony. But yeah, welcome in, Tony. How's, uh, how's work today? Uh, do we want to put bale storage up anywhere? Probably should at some point, right? <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, I think like right where you have those cedars would be a decent spot. Or if you want to do it, the problem is the maybe, lack maybe of, over here somewhere. The lack of flat ground. Oh, you know what we could do? We could take um the trees down and do it there. And do it there, right here in this corner. Yeah, possibly. Uh, oh, this field's already been fertilized, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, duh. I guess I need to seed that next one, though. Yeah, you gotta seed the uh, one we just picked up on. Yeah. Tony is currently filling in hydrous tanks. Oh, Lord. Well, Tony, don't, don't deep breathe. I, I uh, hope deep someone breathe. else. I hope somebody else is filling the hydrous tank. Wow, no, that's part of his job. Oh, God. Don't breathe deep. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Don't. I mean, breathe. if you do, bleep, breathe really deep. All right? Just get it over with. <laughs> so bad. That's horrible. Freeze your lungs. Oh, man. You know, for years down at the farm, we never had any moles. And we kind of didn't really pay attention to why, but... When Zach's family farmed, where they used to rent our farm, they uh, they used anhydrous. So it would just, you know, zap them all. Okay, so looking at the weather, weather forecast, there is a 40% chance of rain on Sunday this week. But if it doesn't rain, we're going to plow. And then next week, dude, it's going to rain Monday and Tuesday. We have a wintry mix coming next Thursday. Mm. I don't. That's too far out to. Too far out. I did hear something about a big pattern shift coming. So. Never know. All those, uh, all those false springs have happened. Oh yeah. It was like forty degrees this morning. Over here. It was twenty uh, twenty eight or something like yesterday morning. Uh, here. Gonna shine the plow. Hopefully, we we uh, rebuilt the hitch, Tony, so it's like good to go now. Um, 
Good old Missouri weather, you betcha. Shorts in the morning, park in the evening, pretty much. I literally had heat on this morning out here. I was freezing, and then before stream, I was like, yeah, I should turn my AC on. I mean, that is my favorite type of weather, though. My, my uncle always described it as <clears throat> hoodie, t-shirt, hoodie weather. Right? Yeah. Because you have your hoodie on yep. in the morning, t-shirt on in the afternoon when yep. it's hot, and then back, pop it back on. You know? Yep. We, uh, you know, we always joke going to the farm. It's like, yep, need the AC or the heat in the morning going to the farm. And then when you go into town to get lunch, need uh, AC. And then, you know, heat in the evening to come home. Uh, Although now you just have the auto and you just set it for whatever temperature and it just does its thing, you know. I'll have to, you know, to adjust it now, you know. Number of sliders. Yeah. Up and down buttons for temperature and so on. Mm-hmm. You betcha. Be fancy like Applebee's or something. So we can take this corner of the field here and uh, pick a level and flatten it. Get rid of the trees and flatten. Now, and one building will only do 250 bales. Yeah, that's okay. Because I mean, we can still gonna... do silage down by the BGA. Down by the BGA. Down by the river, my bad. Um, yeah, I mean, we're not going to have like a billion bales because we're only going to have 350 cows. That's it. No more. Unless we buy that other farm. I think there's a cow barn down there, but I, I don't know. Probably just stay with the 350. No snow cop. Sorry. I was looking at my weather forecast. Jeez. Gosh. But yeah, so that's the plan. Hopefully Sunday we'll do some plowing. And then, and then, and then, you know, somebody needs to get video, busy editing because uh, I like to make a video. Like, take all the, all the camera equipment. Yeah. Oh, I, speaking of, of like farm videos, I have a video from a farm show that we went to in here in Missouri years and years and years ago. It's like, it's an old video at this point, right? Mm -hmm. I got a comment the other day. Somebody was complaining that I put music over the video. Like, why the music? And I'm like, I didn't respond. But I guarantee that, like, we were having a conversation about something that didn't need to be on YouTube. Or, like, the camera was right in front of my face and you could, like, hear me breathing all awkward, you know? So, no, just cut that out. Put some music in, be done with it. I just thought it was funny. I think it's funny people like that video still get views. I guess, I guess it happens. I don't know. I guess my brother's clown video is still getting views too. I don't know. Checked it lately. Hmm. <clears throat> You know, the multi-million view video. Right. Mr. has more subscribers on YouTube than I do. Uh, I, my dad asked me the other day, he's like, how many subscribers is he up to? And I'm like, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> more than me. Uh, there's his channel. I was like, where's his channel? Dude, he's up to 43,000 subscribers. <laughs> I was start making videos on his channel. Actually, I should totally, I should totally get him some footage of like the, the bee plowing and uh, he can put a video on his channel or he should come to the farm and film a video. That's a great idea, actually. There you go. Yeah. I mean, he's got the audience, although his audience is more about the, the, the horses. Uh, what's that video up to? 19 million views still. That's so many views. Eight-year-old video now. Good lord. Good gosh. Anyway. 
No skipper, no skipper, no skipper, no skipper. Let's go. Really need another end row here, but I was trying to avoid it. Can't avoid it. You're uh, turning them fields off a of white over there, Bear. Uh huh. That looks like stuff you'd see in the game Storms was playing the other day. You just call me Snowman. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. Wait, we're not supposed to talk about snow, sorry. I'm a limestone cowboy. Oh, sorry. Doo -doo. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I don't even know. Not sure how to continue that song, sorry. Isn't it like a one-star rodeo or something? One, one. Mm, something like that. Something rodeo, yeah. I don't know something along them lines I haven't heard that song in forever I, they used to play that on the oldie station yeah that was before like Nirvana was part of the oldie station yeah you know before what I mean? they're like the oldies from the 90s right no I went to the 60s and 70s music you know oldies now can technically be like 2000s because it's 20 years old Yep. Hey, Tony, Sorry. you got any in Hydra so I can borrow? <laughs> I need to I'll be, over, over. I'll be over in the corner huffing in Hydra. <laughs> you'd, only, you'd only huff it once. That's it. <laughs> That's it. That's all it takes. <laughs> Free fly for a white guy. That's a great song, too. Oh, jeez. That's a good one, right? Good one. That was my kind of music growing up right there. Well, it depends. Like, if I was with mom or dad, we listened to, like, the oldies, you know? Yeah. And then, like, you know, <laughs> hanging out with the brothers or, you know, friends or whatever, it was... It was that kind of... Yeah. Had a couple of brothers. First time's one of them. Big into uh, uh, Nirvana. Big Nirvana Really? Guy. Huge Nirvana guy. Never got into Nirvana. Oh. I mean, I, I appreciate their effect on music. They're hot but, as some best music like ever. I've got some. Uh, <clears throat> I have some comments that are not appropriate for stream. Courtney Love did it. Yeah, she did. You're right. Let's just put it this way. <laughs> I wouldn't change the way it ended. Wow. Because Dave Grohl and Foo Fighters created well, inside Nirvana. Fair play. We wouldn't have. We wouldn't have the Foo Fighters. That is true. Actually, yeah. Very true. And the Foo Fighters are pretty awesome. I actually seen them live in concert. Like one of my two concerts I've ever been to. Lucky. It was a traumatic experience though, honestly. I don't I was it was a long time ago. They played this show in Chicago at like this little club bar thing. I don't know. It was an all ages mm -hmm. show. I was definitely younger than eighteen, but it was an all ages show. I I think I was probably the younger, the youngest person there. And we had tickets for, like, the floor. So, you know, mosh pit and all, you know, it's a thing. Yeah. And I, it was just, it was too much for me. It was too loud. And uh, I ended up having, I didn't, like, leave the venue, but I had to, like, leave the, I had to, like, go out in the hallway. And then I ended up up in the balcony, like, just kind of standing there. Because, like, nobody was sitting anyway, you know, so, like, it didn't matter. Right. And uh, even that was just, like... I probably should have had earplugs in. I think I would have been okay if I had, like, earplugs. But it was just too much for me. Way too much. It was an awesome show. It was really cool. But I guess half the problem was, you know, I had never been to a concert at that point. So I did not know what to expect at all. Right. So very uh, traumatic, honestly. But, yeah. And then the second one was uh, Trans-Siberian Orchestra. That was That's a pretty good one. That was awesome. And we weren't like, we were all the way on the other end of the arena. So like far away. So it wasn't like loud, loud. Yeah, it was nice. Plus I was in like a, you know, that's, that was in our hockey arena here in St. Louis. So big venue. The Joe? No, wait, that's, that's the, the that's Joe. Detroit. Sorry, that's Detroit Red Wings. Uh, 
No. <clears throat> Sorry. Well, okay, so it was... All the, you Midwesterners are alike, right? It was the Scott Trade Center. It was the Savas Center. It was the Keel Center. It was E-Trade for a while, I think. It's had so many different... I don't even know what it is today. I'm not sure what it is right now, actually. They've, they've had so many names on that building. It's kind of crazy. You know, unlike our uh, baseball stadium, it's always been Bush, right? Because the Anheuser Busch family, like, they, you know, they own, like, back in the day, own the team and stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. So, and apparently back then, beer couldn't be used as, like, uh, you couldn't advertise beer in Major League Baseball. So they're like, okay, we won't advertise beer, but we'll just call, call our stadium Bush Stadium. And then eventually they made Bush beer. That was actually later. But, yeah, it was named after the Bush family. Not necessarily the beer. It's a whole thing. All right. Uh, thanks for the uh, follow. Appreciate you. Welcome in. How's it going? What is popping? Uh, roller, I guess, next, right? Uh, you can fur seven. Or, okay. We can fur seven and then we can roll everything. Okay. I'll bring a roller and then grab fertilizer. That sounds like a good idea. Because it's already over there, right? Yep. Probably have to fill that. But I'll bring a roller with me. This is a little chaotic with the bales here, isn't it? Put a bale storage right here, like right next to the sheep farm. We could do that. Yeah. There might be enough space there. That's not a huge, huge uh, building. I was thinking about, like, for this area here, possibly another shed like we have, and then maybe, like, some some little sheds where we just, like, back stuff into or something. We just, it, yeah. I like having everything under a roof. And something for semi-trailer storage, because we have so many now. So many semi trailers. It's kind of weird, but it's fine. We could get rid of our house and put like a little trailer in or something. Save some, uh, save some room. Not like a, you're not like a teen spirit kind of guy, huh? I think it's because I've, I've heard it. I don't know, three thousand times. Yeah. Imagine growing up with two brothers that are obsessed with uh, Foo Fighters, and that's all that was ever played in our house growing up, you know? Yeah. Still to this day, if you walk by, like, first time when he's, like, you know, doing his genealogy stuff on the computer, he's probably humming a Foo Fighter song. He's over there like, fingernails are pretty. Is that a Foo Fighter song? I've never heard that. Oh, it's from Big Me. Oh, okay. That's not Foo Fighters. That is Foo Fighters. Big, big me? Is it? Right. We'll go with it. I don't know, Ma. First time, if he was here, he, you know. Dude, he was even big back in the day on, like, uh, oh, these, like, sharing websites, you know, back in the day? Uh-huh. And, like, all these, you know, they would play a show, and then, like, yep. somebody would record it. Yep. Oh, yeah. He had all that stuff back in the day. The amount of, like, bootleg uh -huh. CDs he had back in the day. I mentioned there was a job I had, <clears throat> and I mentioned once that I liked a particular band. Oh. And this guy went, like... Down the rabbit hole, huh? Way too far with it. I was nice. like, oh, my God. I've got this concert. And I got this. So he pulled out all these cassette tapes, and I was like, oh, my God. Here we go. Wow. Uh, they should eat the TMR first, yes. I believe. That's the way it used to be anyway. I, I assume it still is. I don't... Yeah. Pretty sure they would eat the TMR first, yes. You betcha. 
But yeah, it's crazy what, what was out there back in the day. And message boards, oh my god. Message boards were a thing, you know? I never got into any of that. My mother used to be a huge participant in the message board for a, there was this ABC show that she was all about back in the day. And like, she wasn't the young and the restless, was it? That was called, it was called, uh, um, uh, God, what was that called? Oh, she was here and now she'd slap me for not once and again. It was called once and again. And she was like huge fan of once and again. Okay. And like. During the shows, like they'd all be on like live tweeting in this message board, you know, mm -hmm. and like, yeah, it was a whole thing. It was a whole thing. There were a lot of them, though. A lot of people in that message board. Glad you got the truck stop and you did because it's filled up. Did you go get you some peanut butter cookies, Trent? They have some good uh, oatmeal raisin ones too, I think. All their cookies are good, let's be honest. Anyway. It's a thing. So, the guy across the street from us, right? Oh, Tony is still here, dang. The guy across the street from us, like, he's putting a huge shed in his backyard, adding on a room, and putting in a hot tub, and, like, all this stuff, right? All right. I told Dad, I'm like, why doesn't he just go buy a different house? Let's go buy a bigger house and be way more expensive. Well, in this economy, yes. But like, girlfriend's selling her house to move in. Like, sell both. Go buy one together. You know. Maybe they're not that serious. I don't know. Not sure. But it's kind of kind of funny. There's a house in my neighborhood for sale right now, Bear. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm on. I'm on my way. <laughs> All right. Hey, it does have like bright red carpet in the basement. It looks pretty sick. As long as the shag carpeting, we're good. I don't think it was shag. It was kind of short. No. But it was bright red carpet, and then they had like golden couches down there. Pimp. Dude, I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, but. In the pictures on, on, you know, the internets, right? Mm -hmm. All of the person's stuff is still there. The person is deceased. It's, it's like kids selling the house now, right? Okay. So all of her stuff is still there. Emmy, what's going on? How are you? Welcome in. And we drove by the other day and like her car is still in the garage. And mm -hmm. it's like, they're not ready to sell this house. What are they doing? It was wild. His grandma's is like, you know, grandma's dresser and her bed and everything else convey or no? I don't know if you get like if you buy it, you get it all. It doesn't mention that in the listing. So I don't know if they need like 90 days before they could close or mm -hmm. I don't know. It's wild, though. The pictures of this house are wild. Like they had a uh, half bath on the main floor, right? Attached to the master. All right. And they took out the toilet and put a stackable washer dryer there. Hmm. Well, that way, you know, Granny could have laundry upstairs. Made sense. It makes perfect sense. But it, it's just kind of funny looking when you open the door and there's like a toilet paper holder in the wall and there's no toilet in there. <laughs> and then in the listing, it's like a plumber said it could be put back to a bathroom. Well, yeah, anything <laughs> can be changed back, you know. Yeah, plumber said you could do it. Yeah, didn't say you should, but said you could. So I, I was the listing that I was laughing at it. I was like, I, yeah, kind of funny. I've been, uh, I, we're kind of in a position where like we're probably going to be in this house for a while. Yeah, and so I'm looking at maybe some inefficiencies that we could turn to efficiencies. Okay. And one of the things where we, we've got this little storage room down here in the basement. Um, and it would be just perfect to convert into a laundry room. Oh, but the okay. laundry's on the main floor. So now I'm like, Oh, would you really take laundry from the main and put it downstairs? 
be because because that's like people go the other way all the time you know people do go the other way right but yeah for me is it first of all i don't do the laundry so that's <laughs> number one so maybe maybe i'm not as invested as, as i should be <laughs> um but um we already have to bring it's not on the same level as oh, it's not where all the bedrooms are yeah right now the house that we wanted to buy which was across the street from uh, this house actually had a laundry room built in to the master bedroom Ooh. okay yeah so all your laundry was like that's, right there that's pretty which good was idea. pretty sick yeah. pretty sick right yeah right. um So now this one's on like the main level, the first floor. Yeah, so you gotta bring everything downstairs. We gotta bring everything downstairs. down at least once. Yeah. So like I'm like, how much of a big difference is it to go down just one more? But I don't know. I would die to have main floor laundry, but we also have a ranch, we don't have a two stories. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Pro tip, you don't do the laundry equals you have no opinion. Wow. No, that that ain't wrong. <laughs> no, he's not. Y'all right or you're not wrong, yeah. Not wrong at all. But yeah. Oh, actually, Barry, you know that cousin I was telling you about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back when they had their big house, mm -hmm. uh, they had three laundry rooms. First floor, main floor, or main floor, you know, second floor, and the basement. That's so, it. my aunt, at one point, they lived in, like, a... I don't know. It, it's a ten, probably ten thousand square foot house. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Huge. Yeah. Huge. Four stories. Nice. Ba yeah, three stories up. Basement. Well, they had two two things that I always thought were, were kind of baller. Did they have an elevator? No. Oh. But they did have a laundry chute. Laundry chute would be cool laundry chute so each floor you could just dump your laundry and it would just you know one stack it would just go all yeah. the way down to the laundry room right yeah the other thing was centralized a oh, vacuum vacuum system yeah yeah i've always and thought that'd like, be cool too yeah a dumb a dumb how, waiter how, would be cool yeah. a dumb waiter would be kind of cool too sometimes yeah uh, so the house I was talking about with the three laundry rooms, there were, uh, well, it was, it was like a mom and dad and there were like three kids, so five people. It wasn't, it, it, it was a very, uh, insane house. There's so much I could tell you guys about it, but like for privacy reasons, I can't, but, uh, man, it was wild. We'll just say that much. But anyway, yeah, dumb waiter would be cool, especially if you had that many stories, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Your dad's old house had a laundry chute. I've always thought, yeah, laundry chute made a lot of sense. I don't know why we don't have one in the, this house. We do roll after seated, and this is freshly seated and then limed. So, pretty much freshly seated. I mean, technically... What? I'm trying to think if I could put... Put a laundry chute in. Put a laundry chute in where this would, would be. Well, because, like, our bathroom, our, like, main... Our, basically our one bathroom it's right above the laundry in the basement it's literally I left a skipper there dang it Chad I gotta go back for it it's like right above it so I don't know why this house this house was I think the story with this house is like the builder who was building houses in this neighborhood he built this house for himself mm. but he didn't like go the nice route he went like Oh, I got some plywood. Let's make some kitchen cabinets. Mm. Like, really cheaped out on stuff. But yeah. I'm going back for it, Trent. It's fine. He What he did was he bought that one for free because he just built it Basically. as he went along. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. Probably, yeah. And then I assume he sold it off. Like, I don't think he ever lived here. Yeah. The really weird part about this neighborhood... At one time, not everybody, but like a lot of people on my street were farmers. 
that were like, oh, let's move to town. We're really getting a little older. Let's go buy a house in town. And it was like this neighborhood for some reason. Hmm. Or like this street. And yeah, it was really weird. So actually, there's a lady that used to live. She's She's gone now, but she lived two doors down from us. Her farm was right around the corner from us down in the country. Uh, you can line before, you can line after. It's just whatever, whatever works out, you know. In this case, uh, we limed after. It doesn't matter. Does not matter. Besides, don't you want to roll your lime in and, and make sure it doesn't blow away in the wind? No, me either. But you know, yeah, the order order of operation on lime doesn't matter. You can do it at any time. It's just this is what worked out. I was busy seeding and then bear grabbed the limer, you know? It's, I'm better, so. Doesn't matter. And then we're fertilizing, and you're not going to be able to tell that we limed them anyway. Uh, this this joint don't need no fertilizer. Really? Yeah. I feel like I have too much. Way too much. Oh. Wait. Yeah, no, just, uh, yeah, I wouldn't even worry about that field then. That field was fertilized for, like, corn. We're going to get hit on that one on uh, environmental for, for a harvest or two. Slap some corn in there real quick. <laughs> Use that That'll nitrogen. try it up. Yep. Yep, oh, it will. That'll be fine. You want to come over here and start? That's fine. I don't... I'm on the way. I don't care. I still don't think grass uses as much. I think it should be higher nitrogen than grass. That's just me. At least a little bit. Strange the roller doesn't get white. That's true. There's a mod for that. Sure. We don't have it. But I'm sure there is a mod for that. Ooh, and then I can see the nice seed bed too, can I? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's funny. Actually, it'll help because it's kind of hard to. I mean, you can tell the difference between on the on the roll with the lime, but this is a lot better, obviously. Obviously, that's okay. There it is. It's nice. There's a mod for everything. That's pretty much the moral of the story, right? There's a mod for everything. Oh, that might be a future skipper. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> maybe. BRB. The chat speaking of brb it is it is it is break time and i am aware i will get this field rolled real fast and then i'll go take my little break and we'll come back and we'll just better pattern you know i thought we were going to be harvesting soybeans all day today and i was like man that's going to be kind of a kind of a thing to harvest all them all them beans again I'm glad we're doing other stuff today. We sold all of our beans that we had, and we sold all the dry corn that we had. We had over $2 million today, which is like, you know, cha-ching. But, of course, I've spent a little bit. Although, almost 600000 was cows. Uh, yeah, almost six hundred was cows. So, that's kind of a spendy part of our day, but that's okay. And then uh, we had to buy a TMR mixer. So that was another 200 and something thousand, I believe. So that's where our money's gone. But now we own three semi trucks. Uh, we do need to buy another trailer for the third one because we had so many beans to haul that uh, two just was going to take way too long. Considering it takes four minutes to go from the homestead to the, the train, it takes four minutes each way. And that's not including load time and empty time. So I was like, yeah, other truck and trailer, you betcha. And we tried Super Bs for the first time in forever. And they worked great. Trent, you missed it. I was running Super V earlier. And it worked great on auto drive. Just had to make a few minor adjustments, but uh, 
we can haul in slash out of the uh, corn dryer and uh, haul to the train and haul in slash out of the homestead. So I was pretty happy with that. It was a good time. Yeah, super bees were uh, super bees were fun. So we're gonna buy a set of super bees at some point as well. Uh, probably before we go too much farther today, while we still have some money. And then uh, we're gonna have to take a serious look at tractors because we have tractors in the shed that we haven't used in forever, and today's the day. It's time to uh, time to say goodbye to a couple old, old tractors. It's going to happen. Probably, possibly as many as five. But that's all right. We're not getting rid of the Alice's. They are very useful still. And we're not going to get rid of, uh, well, anything with actual horsepower. Which is going to be a lot of the John Deere stuff. So. And actually, that little Massey... That little Massey is probably going to survive today because it is a good bale wrap tractor, if nothing else. And it actually works fairly well on uh, horseplay to, to wrap bales. It did... Last time I mowed, it did that whole field. I only had to restart it one time, so. Not bad. Not bad at all. So I was pretty happy with that. So, but yeah, we're, the tractor purge has to happen. It's, it's gonna have to happen today at some point, so. Yeah. How to park this in there is gonna be interesting. Make it work. And then, you know, if I had extra money today, I, I would consider putting up another shed or two, to be honest. And really, I should probably sell this horse barn. And then, boom, look at all this flat space for sheds back here. Yep. But I'm kind of curious how the horses actually, like, move around in this building. Does that make sense, Bear? Like are they it trapped? In, are they trapped in a stall all day? Or are they outside? Or I don't know why. I just want to see a horse in this building. Should we just buy a horse and then like sure. not, not feed it? Yes, yeah, so we'll emaciate cows and horses. <laughs> uh, you know, but but this is a ton of flat room. So realistically, cut that tree down. And we could put up all kinds of sheds back here if we wanted to. So, plus bale storage. We do need bale storage. I, I'm on board with that idea. Although, if we wait another year, another in-game year, we'll have all kinds of money again. So, mm -hmm. we won't have as much as we had today because we don't have dry card. But we're gonna have as many soybeans to sell. We'll have all that straw to sell. And then uh, we got all those bales sitting down there to sell too. Plus, we'll start making milk. So, exactly. And that does about. a bank account good. I thought it was a body good. Oh yeah, that too. That too. Yeah. Because yeah. the horse barn's great for parking stuff in, but like it's not, it's not very convenient. And this shed is getting a little, uh, a little full. There's still room. You know, how many how many things do you really want to move to be able to get, you know, an auger wagon out? None. I don't <laughs> want to move I don't want to move anything. <laughs> so and I'm over here like, yeah, let's move ten things, yeah. The I, horse uh, wander, do they? We're gonna find I gotta out. jump. You gotta go? Yep. Right. Gotta get uh gotta get ready for uh softball. First was, softball of the year. I was gonna guess softball, yep. Well, have, have fun with that. Yep. See y'all later. We'll catch you, Bear. Have a good one. All right, I bought a horse. Eight hundred dollars. Best investment ever. Is he gonna walk through the brush on? What do y'all about? <laughs> hey, yep. <laughs> and there it goes. Uh, okay. Well, we have a horse now. It's wandering. <laughs> It makes horse sounds. How much is this building worth? That building's only worth 50 grand? Ugh. 
Uh, that's it? He's like... Are you saying horses taste like raisins? <laughs> what? I'm not going to eat the thing. I'm going to raise it to be a... a thoroughbred. Uh, it's a... a, a, a we're going to race it. It's going to be so fast. So fast. So f too fast, too furious, you know? Anyway, um, let's see. I am done with field work, I guess, right? All that's planted, all that's been fertilized, all that's been limed. Um, Y'all, I think we are going to be... Re oh, we need to make TMR. We need to make TMR. So here's what we're going to do, chat. I got to take a 3 o'clock break because it's time and a break is needed. All right. When I come back, we'll make TMR and then the great tractor perch. Look at my horse. My horse is amazing. Yes. So, chat, I will be back uh, momentarily for the great tractor purge of 2024.